Now that we have an end-to-end -end example of authentication with Clerk, let me walk you through customizing the sign-up and sign-in flows. Currently, our navbar has a sign-in button that triggers a modal when clicked. This modal lets users sign in, and if they don't have an account, they can easily switch to sign up using the link at the bottom. However, many applications prefer to have a dedicated sign up button that initiates the sign up flow directly. You can easily achieve this by importing the sign up button component from Clerk. In navigation.tsx, import sign up button from Clerk and add it right below sign in button. Mode is equal to modal. In the browser, you will see a sign up button appear in the navbar. Clicking it launches the sign up modal, and users can switch to sign in using the link at the bottom if needed. Very straightforward. Next, let's talk about styling. When working with Clerk, you're not stuck with the default button styles. You can completely customize how your sign in and sign up buttons look. It is as simple as nesting a button element with your own CSS inside the sign in button and sign up button components. Change from self-closing to opening and closing tags. In between the tags, include an HTML button element. This is sign in and this is sign up. Let's add some Tailwind CSS to both buttons. Take a look at the browser and you will see both buttons have been customized. Now, what about having dedicated pages for sign in and sign up instead of modals? That is also very easy. In navigation.tsx, on the sign in button and sign up button, remove the mode is equal to modal prop. Back in the browser, click on sign in, and Clerk will redirect you to the dedicated sign in page. Similarly, click the sign up button, and you will land on the sign up page. Now, if you check the URL, you might notice we don't see our app's domain. That is because these pages are hosted by Clerk. If you would prefer to keep users on your domain, you can create your own sign-in and sign-up pages while still using Clerk's components. Here's how to do it. In your app directory, create a sign-up folder with an optional catch-all route. So, new folder within double square brackets dot 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 sign up is the name and add a page.tsx file with a simple react component export default function sign up page and we return a div tag that renders the sign up component from clerk make sure to import it from at clerk slash nextjs i will also add some styling to the div tag flex justify center item center and some padding do the same for sign in by creating a new sign in folder with an optional catch all route, so double square brackets, dot dot dot, sign in, and add a page.tsx file. Copy paste the component code for sign up page.tsx and change sign up to sign in. Sign in is another component that Clerk provides. When you add these two pages, Ensure both routes are public in your middleware.ts file. We already have it from the time we learned about middleware. If you don't, please make sure to add these two routes. Finally, update your .env.local file with two new environment variables. Next public clerk sign in URL and next public clerk sign up URL. They point to slash sign in and slash sign up which are the two routes that we have just created. Make sure to restart your dev server. So npm run dev and head back to the browser. Now, when users click either button, so sign in or sign up, they will stay on your domain at slash sign up or slash sign in. Lastly, let's talk about redirects after authentication. By default, Clerk is pretty smart. It remembers where users came from using a redirect URL query parameter. Try it out. Let's create a simple about page in the app folder. Export default function about return h1 tag about page and navigate to localhost 3000 slash about. 
Since every page is a protected page by default, we are redirected to slash sign in. You'll notice how redirect URL is equal to HTTP localhost slash about. When you continue, you're redirected to slash about. While this default behavior works well in most cases, you can customize it using environment variables. You have two options for fallback URLs. Next public, clerk sign up fallback redirect URL and next public, clerk sign in fallback redirect URL. The first one is to set the fallback redirect URL after sign up in case the redirect URL query parameter is missing. The second one is to set the fallback redirect URL after sign in in case redirect URL query parameter is missing. If you don't care about the redirect URL query parameter and you want to force specific redirects regardless of where users came from, you can make use of next public clerk sign up force redirect URL and next public clerk sign in force redirect URL. With these force redirects, users will always land on slash onboarding after sign up and slash dashboard after sign in. Currently, we haven't created the onboarding route, so make sure to create it if you want to test this out. But as you can see, Clerk offers plenty of flexibility in customizing your authentication flows. Next up, we will look at deploying our application. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.